Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Plymouth Argo career mode. In the last episode, we did get the unfortunate one or draw against Sheffield because I myself had a bit of a shocker and just couldn't take my chances. I'll have the my hands up, but then we're going to have an absolute stormer with the main man, Paul David, banging four goals <clears throat> and getting one assist, sorry, against Bristol in a 5-2 victory win. Still in eighth place here, but we have closed the gap on Bristol, as you can see on the left. Sheffield, Ipswich and Blackburn kind of sneaking up behind us. So we just got to be wary of them. We just need to get into that bracket of the top six, which I am quite comfortable and confident that we can do that. But the matter at hand now is that we have got the Saudis, the takeover in Newcastle, the billion dollar club right now. The team to look at round 16, I'm talking about Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. Massive game here. Will EA favour us on the highlights? Who knows? After this game, I might actually convert this cup of game into full games because I feel like it will be a bit more fairer on my hand. I feel like that's quite fair. But anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's get into this cup run in the highlights against Newcastle at home. Come on. So then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the team that I'm going to go against Newcastle today. As you can see on the screen, Mayer comes in for Hewen and Gillespie on for Phillips. Phillips, Gillespie is the main star of the team now. I'll just put that out there. I just needed to convert it on the actual team management before going to lineups into our next game. The only risk and scare I have is, as you can see there, David is on half stamina, our best player this season, by a country mile this season. So he might have to go off. But as you can see on the right, the takeover is so on for their team. Especially in that right wing spot. They have got Serge Gnabry. What a signing that is. Big eyes up top. Anderson, Endo, Lonstar, Willock, Botman, Hope, Trippier and Target at the back. And Les Norman. I don't really know him that much. But what a team they got. A Premier League side here. Surely they're up in the table in the top six perhaps. But that's their league. We're on about ours. And we're on about the Caribou Cup today ladies and gentlemen. See how we get on. In the highlights, let's get into it. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Round four, a massive game. I expect EA to give Newcastle a lot of the highlights here, to be honest with you. I do expect it. Because, let's be honest, they are the bigger team. I'm sorry, I had to say it. They are in the Premier League, so they are better than us. That's the way I see it. The Saudis could do a bit of a number us on home park. But I do believe in us. I still think we can maybe pick up a win here. Maybe a little snatch win. See how it goes. Massive team though. Trippier there. The free kick expert. Hopefully he don't bang one today. Let's get into it and see how we get on against Newcastle. Come on, boys. Oh, what's the first chance here? Oh, is that a joke? No. Second minute in. Typical EA being rats. Putting us down under potentially. Oh, he's in the middle though. Steps up. Can Cooper save him? Get him in the eyes. And there it is. Cooper pulls off a brilliant save. It's still alive. Newcastle counter-attack in the seventh minute. A penalty save for Cooper already. The hand of the pressure also now. Shit pass for Newcastle. Oh, a free kick here. It's not trippier though. 16th minute. It's a bit too on an awkward angle for him, I suppose. Turn down the clock. Serge Gnab steps up. What a player he is. It's got to be ours, surely. Oh, was a flick back. Get out. Continue going. Just, just bang out. There it is. Next highlight, please. See what the EA's going to throw us now. Oh, hang on. Uh, excuse me. Hang on. There's a joke. Freaking out. Where's the bloody balls? There they go, though. Anyway, still no nil. Who cares? Very, very minute here. Corner kick for our goal. Here we go. Swinging this one in. Win. Oh, hello. Oh, unlucky. Newcastle attacking the 48th minute here. Here we go. Endo finds the pass inside to Gnabry. To Willock. Block off there. Well done, Argo. Again, another counter-attack. 51st minute. We expected a lot of this, like I said, at the, at the start. Endo on the ball. We can't get a lock on them. Just hold Isaac up. All he can do is pass. Well done, Miller. Stepping up against one of the world's best. Little Fargo attack, 65th minute. Here we go. Here's our chance to shine. Here's our chance to have a little attack. Sinamani. Is it to Mayo? 
One more inside there. Whitaker's trying to go. Whitaker! Oh, that was our best chance. That was it. Should have scored that. We found a gap, but Whitaker just pits it wide. 68th minute, though, with Newcastle. They've got another attack. That's the, probably the only chance we're going to get the game. We've missed it. Oh, well done, Scott. Well, hello. I spoke too soon. Hang on a minute, ladies and gents. 73rd minute. Ryan Hardy against number five. Just got to be this one player and he's through. Can he beat him on pace? Good touch outside. Oh, but again, Wicker's letting us down. Newcastle, 87th minute here. Could be looking at a penalty shootout if we, don't def if we defend this. Can we get a good lock on? Ref, he's pulled me down. Cooper steps up when we need him again. And it is, ladies and gentlemen, we go to another penalty shootout in the Caravel Cup. Oh, I mean, to be fair, Whitaker should have scored his chance. The fans are behind us. But Gennari probably should have scored that chance again. But Cooper again, saving the day. Super Cooper returns. Nil no, nil. No. Penalty show it is. Tense times. Here we go then. Miller steps up. I think this is the fullback against Pope. Can he make it 1 0? He can't. What a pen. Pope dives the right way, but it doesn't matter. Can he make it 2 2 against Isaac? No, he can't. Isaac guesses the right way as well. NS subbed on from myself and must be NS. Yes, good finish, lad. Well done. 2 1 to our goal. Anderson steps up. Gonna go right it. Oh, he's put it down the middle. Wicker not had the best game today. I'm gonna go top left, left, ladies and gents. And he's banged it in when it counts. Everyone has scored the pen so far. Serge gonna have the former Bayern player. Oh, it's cheeky. He's gone for the Andre Perlo. The little dink. Fair play. Suleiman Kakori, a player I rate highly. Can he make it? He can as well. It might be going to sudden death, this. Massive win for Rago here. If we get this win, Willock steps up. And Cooper saves. It all comes down to Mayer, the number 10. The questionable player in Argo at the moment. The on and off player. Can he says he, says he, oh, I can't speak. I'm panicking. No, he doesn't do it. <laughs> It all comes down to Coop. Cooper versus Endo. Can Coop save us again? He can! Yes. And Plymouth Argo go through in the cup. We've beaten the Saudis. We've beaten the billion dollar club. Newcastle have been defeated because of that man right there. Man of the match performance. The best performance I've seen from Coop. A penalty save in normal 90 minutes. And to save us. The pen against Endo to knock out Newcastle. The championship side continue through to the cup. Happy days. Great Lynch. We continue on. Get on. So here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the round four, we have qualified with City beating West Ham. Southampton beating Port Vale. Unlucky from Port Vale. Good run from them. And Arsenal also winning on pens against Leicester City. If I had to pick one, I would like, obviously, Southampton next but regardless of who we get, we got to play them. Uh, we're like the big teams anyway, if it's Arsenal or City. We'll get to that stage when it comes to it. Come on. So then, ladies and gentlemen, another young talent leaves the club on loan. And it is the guy that got the first appearance for us. The one appearance, actually, sorry, is Cabrera, the left wing, if I pronounce it right. The Argentine goes out on loan. Hopefully, we can see him coming back as a future star for us and a potential star for us in the future. Goodbye for now, my friend. I will see you in the future. So, as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, just to wrap it up with that lone player there, he has gone to... I didn't actually pop up with a club name, which is really weird, and I do apologize. I can't. Let's see if I can zoom in. I think it's Al Nazar. I don't think that's how you pronounce it in that bottom left corner against the wage coverage there. Hopefully, he grows up. It is six months, so it's not going to be long. Starting from the January the 1st, he will be gone. And yeah, we continue on. See you later. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the pre-match conference against Blackburn, we have got four inbox messages. I think that's just to confirm loans. Yeah, they rejected them too there. And also, Rionaris has popped up on a loan as well. Didn't see his cutscene, but he has also gone well on a six-month, I do believe. But let's get into this pre-match conference against Blackburn who are, I believe, just below us. They are. They're sitting in 11th and we're sitting in 8th. Once again, same as always, need to pick up the win here against Ivy Lane at Blackburn. Come on. Here we go, though. The recent run, if you put you in a competition to stay clear of the relegation place, 
Hundred percent. That's always good. Is the squad big enough? I trust my squad. Hundred percent. Got a good team. I think we can get playoffs. To be honest, maybe we know. Maybe we can go Premier League. I think we need a bit more better quality to go Prem. But I think playoffs were definitely uh, in the run for it. Hundred percent. Blumber is very. I'll go look at a pretty even contest on paper. How we approach the game. Uh, we're going to have to make changes. Uh, we've got someone's. We want. Um, we want under right now. We want under SB Blackburn. They're a little bit below us. Still kind of early-ish on in the season, so they might just have a bad spell. So I'm not going to underestimate one that's just behind us like that. That's a bit silly to do, so. Oh, I'm going to be in and out. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. The boys are working hard on it, yes. We're working hard to keep that consistency and get them wins back to back to back. It's what we want to see. It's what everyone wants to see. Even the viewers watching this right now want to see that. Thank you. We'll be wrapping up but now. I do. Let's get into the lineups. So then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup that I'm going to go against Blackburn away here. As you can see, the big Van Dyke and Phillips comes off for Scott and Gillespie. I thought I'd give them two a little good partner up, see how they do. And that's pretty much it, really. No one else is changing now. I'm pretty happy with Butcher's performance. So he comes in for Hewn as well. They've got a decent team, uh, Blackburn. I recognise probably one or two of their players, like Kamara and Obafemi. I think he's quite a good baller for them. But anyway, we don't focus on their players going away against Ivy Lane because I think the game's glitched it and just puts everyone away at Ivy Lane. So, yeah, we should be all right there. I'm pretty confident we can pick up this win after that massive performance, especially from David in the previous episode. But anyway, let's get into this game and see how we get on. Come on. There he is, the man I was just speaking about. Hall David, four goals in his last three. Looking to add more to his tally today. Hopefully, he can do that indeed. But here it is, away at Blackburn. I don't think they've got their own custom stadium. If it is theirs, I do apologise, but I don't think it is. It's just called Ivy Lane. I think it's just a default one. Not going to argue with it, though. Away game is an away game. They're going to be looking to pick up the result today to maybe get further in us or overtake us in the lead from 11th to 8th. There's our captain there on the Typhoid, the skipper for them. Their keeper's quite tall, isn't he? How tall is he? He's like 6'4", isn't he? That's just me. Maybe just, it probably is just me to be honest. Being stupid, as per usual. But anyway, let's get into this game and see if we can pick up the win against Blackburn on this away fixture. Come on in. Here we go, though. Push back to Edwards, and Edwards to score. Score to Sudamari. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, a bit tight at the back at the moment. They are a bit uh, locked in. Oh, and Scott's been caught out. A heavy touch there. Uh, that's not one you want to see from your centre back. And here they come here. Good challenge from Gillespie, but the gap's opened up and they might start strong here. And they have. Blackburn have started really strong from a massive defensive error. I've got to give that to Dan Skull. We missed out on that tackle. We had to hit it. It was right in front of us. And Buckley, number 27, takes an early lead for Blackburn. Their clean sheet is gone again. We cannot keep the clean sheets. But I had to go in for the challenge there. We did get it. But unfortunately, lands back to a Blackburn defender, which leaves the gap from Dan Scar's mistake. And it's annoying. We are 1-0 down already. We need a bounce back straight away. Come on. Nice little play this. Nice little play. And Butcher's found a gap there. Oh, I tried to cut in, but it's okay. It's gone back to Edwards. Oh, is it? Oh, no, it's not. Cinemonic Kakari. Keep getting the mixed up. I do apologise. Go back here. Yeah. Butcher on the long shot, perhaps? Oh, unlucky. I try to get on his right foot. But Boham picks up at Cumberland for Blackburn. But the first shot target goes to Butch for Argo. We want it back, though. Well done. Miller. Well done. Let's not mess up at the back again now. Let's hit him. Good touch from Whitaker. A little ball over the top there. One more. And again. Oh, lovely. Oh, unlucky Miller. Really nice play from Argo. Looks like it's waking up a little bit now. Buckley on the ball. Kamara. Back to Buckley. I think decent he is. We want it back there. Well done. Oh, again. Score. What are you doing? I didn't aim it there. I do apologise. Uh, why am I apologising? I've had a shocker. I meant. I made it a little bit. I can't speak. We got lucky on that free kick there. I didn't mean that pass to go. Across there, I wanted more of the pitch, but Dan Scott just had a really bad start to this game. Come on, switch there. Nice, well done. Switch the play, spread it. Ah, lucky Ardy. 
That's us. Well done, Scott. A lot better. A lot better. Oh, not the best ball there, though. I don't know why Whitaker's made to run. I didn't tell him to. Well done. Well done. That's it. Lovely little ticky tacker. It's what we want to see. Oh, is it Miller? Finds Butcher. Can he find Hyde in the wing? He can indeed. Whitaker's going for the back post. I've seen him. Ah, but he's just been blocked off by Pickering. Well done from him. They defended that well. He's looking at Crime Barcelona on the ticky tacker. We couldn't do anything with it, though. Well done, Gillespie. Well done. Inside there to Santa Monica Kari. The main man, David. Pulls out wide there. Can we go back to David? We can. David on the finesse, but he skies it over the bar. That's not like him. Hits it on his weak foot and just pings it over the bar. Nice little play that we're getting into this a little bit more now. Come on. Edwards. Here comes Edwards now on the wing. Going inside. David, really nice bit of play there from him. Pass it back, perhaps. Oh, he's there. This does go a bit short, though. It's knocking. It is knocking. We need to get one before the half. That would be ideal. Tyrone, well done. Oh, whatever, ref. I, su I suppose it could have been, but still, I feel like that's a little bit soft for my eyes and for my taking. Free kick here for Blackburn. Swings it in the box. We've got to get that out. We do get it out indeed. And Cinema Kakari, good touch. We just couldn't get away from it. Miller on the touch here. Nice bit of play from Miller this. Goes to Whitaker. Does really well. Goes back to Isaac Miller. Can he get it to David in time? He kind of can, but it just goes a little bit hard. Too far in front of him. And Bothman picks up the ball. But a terrible kick again. Isaac Miller on the ball here. What can he do? He does really well. Dance past everyone. Nice bit of skill. Finds Whitaker. Back post to Hardy, perhaps. And he's done well. We're knocking now. Cinnamon Kukori on the volley. And Bondman picks up another comfortable save. We're knocking, man. We're looking like the better team now. Again, we're going to win this ball down. David on the long shot, perhaps. David, oh, probably should have took a bit closer. That's my bad. But on the chance, I just had to hit it. But half time is here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, their keeper cannot kick a ball to save his life. John Buckley gets the opening goal in the sixth minute of the game. Very early on from a defensive error from Scar. But 1-0 down. Come on. There we go. The second half has begun, ladies and gentlemen. No substitutions. I've done pretty confident with the team we've got. Starting at the moment, we can get someone back. Obviously, that head was making a good challenge. Where can make the other top run? He does. Where could be through here? He does well. Uh, he's just let himself down on the touch again. Really annoying. The touch has let him down. Come on. Again, we win the ball back. Little ball to David again. Little dink. Still could be ours. Can we get a better lock on? Please, game. Still ours. Oh, well done. Oh, unlucky. Challenge from Scar. Ah, uh, rest pulled it back though. Annoying. Substitution here for Black Baron. Dolan, number 10, comes on for number 22. Didn't pop up the names. Oh, Kamara, there we go. That should be yours. Nice, no, well done. Ah, oh, terrible way to down though. You know, right back to Garrett, Blackburn player. Off of many, gotta watch him. I think he punished her. I don't know if that's the same player. He might have punished a couple of to go back. But here they go, though. Buckley, good save from Coop. Could have got his second there. Blank burn corner. Going on the ball. Oh, it's a good ball inside the garage. He's done really well. Another good ball. Here we come again now. Hardy, good touch. Really pushes away from the defender. Can he find Whitaker? He stopped his run, Whitaker, though. We did see it, but he just stopped it. He's been absolutely sent to the shops here by this Buckley player. Oh, that's Dolan, sorry. The new sub. Got him mixed up. Come on, I need to get the board from here. They're doing really well. And Cooper has to pull off another save. It's another corner for Blackburn. Dak is coming on for over many. A big player, Dak is. Good player for them, I believe. Recognise the name. 
Let's get this out here. We do get it out, and it's gone to Whitaker. Can we break off this now? We might be. Whitaker's through. There he is. Come on, get in front of him. Go on, use his strength. Well done, Whitaker. Can Whitaker finish this now? Oh, that's poor. His finishing has been really shocking recently. Ah, oh, annoying. I'm, I'm going to do it. Mayer on for Whitaker. Whitaker's got to do better there. Mayer comes on. Come on. Two fouls. A bit harsh on Whitaker. His finish has been all right. He just missed that chance. But he needs to finish that though, regardless. Oh, David, though. Gives it to Mayer. The new freshy sub. Oh, it's just looking hard on that back post. We could get it across, though. Oh, uh, shit. Not good. Not good. And Buckley hits the side now. He's got a good shot on him. What's the quick sub here? I'm not going to take David off. He's been decent, I think. Just need to neutralise him a lot more. Need to get him in front of goal. He's been a little bit quiet. It's a player we do not sub off in this career. He's been the standout player. Just not today, though. We just need to get more involved, I feel like. Here he could be here, though. He's through here. Oh, unlucky. No good header down there for Hardy. I don't blame him there. Oh, he's run through here. Well done. Come on, get the ball back. Well done, Butch. Well done. May needs an option. May have to really well. What a ball to Paul David. Oh, I just trying to get one more skill past him there, but we just couldn't get it. Well done, Mayer. Well done. Oh, I thought we touched that down then. Oh, hello. Ah, it's gone out. Corner kick for Argo, though. Let's swing this in. See what we can do here. We're going to attack it. Paul David's there. Unlucky. Can we get the attack here? He doesn't want it. Mayer wins it back, perhaps. Oh, no. He got lucky. Unlucky. The Cinemarca Corey does though, but again they get lucky. Come on. Willem Miller, keep it in. He has indeed. Back to Hardy perhaps. Oh, it's a really ball. Who did that pass? Hardy, that is honestly shocking ball. An easy pass to Isaac Miller. And because of that, they might seal the game here. We could have got a draw potentially there. So bad. Oh, bad ball again. That's so sloppy, that from Hardy. I'm really annoyed from him with that. Come on, though. Well done. Ah, oh, unlucky. I was hoping the run would be better there. But it looks like it could be a defeat here. It's bitten me in the ass saying this could be uh, we're comfortable winning this game, but clearly not. And it looks like it is going to be a 1 0 defeat at home. Away, sorry, to Blackburn. Uh, again, just not taking our chances. And a sloppy mistake early on in the game has cost us. And it will, it will end at 1 0 here. Ref's going to blow it. Yes, he has. 1 0 defeat away to Blackburn. Not the result you want to see Argo getting today. Whitaker missing a sitter. A very, very poor pass from Hardy at the end to play through Isaac Miller. I'm pretty confident that Miller would have probably scored that as well. I know it's doing not being the best, but a chance like that, he's not going to miss, I feel like. But Hardy with an absolute dreadful pass that has cost us potentially the draw for this game. We would have taken that near the end. The third play to Blackburn. Seven minutes in, Buckley gets the goal. 1-0. We move on. Is it all right if we just ask you a couple of questions? Oh, yes. Radio. It always seems like a different game in two between pretty good and match teams. I just didn't take a chances. That's all it was. A sloppy at the back. That one chance. And then, one, yeah, one mistake can cost us. That's it. Early on, just caught slacking, sleeping. Defence after that was actually quite decent after that mistake. Um, Scott had a bit of stinker, but he wasn't too bad. Just that one chance. We just couldn't score. I blame the attack today, to be honest. This wasn't the result expected today. Uh, we'll pick things right, I promise. Yeah, we will. We'll pick things right. Even Paul David, I mean, to be honest, as much as I love him, I don't like to slay him. He probably could have done a little bit better today. Blackburn Rowers, God boy, it turned out to be the winner before the half time. There was plenty of time left in the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you worried that your team wasn't able to get back into the game, even though there was plenty of time left? Uh, 
one defensive mistake can cost the team the game. Now, I'm not going to say because that's seven minutes in. I mean, we, could, we had time to bring it back. It was one of them days no one went away. It was a deep falling but I didn't. So, I'll just say this one. I'll say that. We just couldn't get back into it. We just couldn't get the goal. But it is what it is. Thank you. That's all the questions we have for you. Thank you very much. We continue on. So then, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the next game and probably the last game of this episode, we have got the monthly scout report and the youth squad monthly report. Let's have a look at the... Uh, let's go monthly scout first. See if we can find any more ballers. Let's have a look at Felix Bussamente, the Argentine. Not for me. Esteban Ortega. No. Oh, here we go, though. Pedro Navarro. 17, 52, 72, 74, 94. On potential, he looks like he's an attacker. Jesus Christ, look at that value already. 3.5 mil. I'm really intrigued to see what his rating is because that is a joke. Maybe that is the next <laughs> Lionel Messi. Who knows? Again, another one. Marco Moreno, 15 though, 74. We'll sign him as well. All right, let's get into the Youth Academy and check out these players. So then, ladies and gentlemen, the new players, Marco Moreno and Pedro Navarro. As you can see, Pedro Navarro, 67 overall. Really good right in, right winger, 7 years old. Could be a nice little replacement in the future or a nice backup winger for Whitaker right there. Moreno, a cam. Let's have a look at his. He is 15 with a nice little potential. So maybe he could just play in a different position. Uh, and I feel like this game favours a lot on wingers because, again, he's got good pace and his main stat is dribbling. But I think I'm just going to keep him... Maybe I, Oh, well. Yeah, right wing. Yeah, so as I said, the right wing, left forward. Maybe I do a centre forward, perhaps, maybe, on him. I feel like I'll do centre forward. We're going to do him on that. Do him on him there. Let's have a Pedro Navarro here. Let's have a look at his stats. He hasn't got the skill moves, but he has got some nice bit of... Well, all-round stats, to be honest with you. Uh, whatever position can he play? Obviously, probably... Um, yeah, so... Yeah, definitely a winger. So we'll just keep him growing and uh, I'll keep him here for a bit until he actually says I want out and then we'll get him into the first team. But I'll just grow him through here for now. Uh, get him on a wide playmaker, I feel like. We have got, though, also Montero and Willis, the two 15-year-olds. As you can see, their potential has gone up a little bit from 81, which is very good. It means they're growing comfortably and very successfully, which is nice to see. But let's get into the next game here. I think it's just around the corner, so we might as well just... There we go. It is against Millwall at home park. But for this game, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to do, just to change up a little bit, we are going to simulate the match. We're not going to do a quick sim, so we're just going to watch it through the thing. A little bit different. Um, I'm just going to go through the lineups, quickly change the players around, and we'll get into the sim match. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup I'm going to go in before we get into the sim match. As you can see on the right wing especially, I have taken out Whitaker for Ennis. Just doesn't finish that last chance. And I feel like I want a bit more of a goal scorer in this match today. So why not give Ennis a shout? The two strikers go back in the left wing and the right wing. Butcher comes in and Gillespie comes in for score after his mistake at the back in the last game. But let's get into the simulation match. Let's have a little wonder. What's it going to do here? I haven't done many of these, but here is the lineup. Here we go. See how this gets on. And here comes Millwall here. They've got a lot of ball. Oh, they want it back. If it looks like a good clear-cut chance, I might jump in just to help out the actual squad a bit. But I just want to give it a little go. Just, you know, use all the gamers we possibly can in the career mode. Just liven things up a little bit. Get a little change up. Uh, let's have a little look. 20 minutes in, nothing's actually happened. But here comes Millwall here. We're out straight away. Oh, here we go. The little counter-attack here from uh, Argyle. Put to the wing again, but they get it out comfortably. Is it still was? No, it's gone down to Millwall again. Three minutes in. Overlap to number seven. It's gone to 39. It's inside, and Millwall make it 1-0. Maybe the simulation was not the best idea, but they make it 1-0. Can now the simulation Argo bring it back before half time? But like I said, we will jump in and we find a good chance. But here we go, though. Ooh, nearly a chance. Can we get inside? Gonna probably go back to the wing. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought we scored. I don't know who that was on the ball there. I think it might be maybe Butcher. Could be wrong. Oh no, this is not good. Isaac made a light injury. We're gonna have to make a quick sub here. Oh god. Who do we do? I'm gonna go Mayor, I think. Right, let's jump, let's jump back into this. 
That's not good, is it? That's, this is the last time we're bloody doing this. What a shocker. And there it is, half time at the break. 1-0 down and an injury. I'm actually, actually going to just quickly, ladies and gentlemen, switch out Ennis for Whitaker because that might help out a bit as an actual natural winger. We continue on, though. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. The simulation is mugging us off. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're not, the crowd's not even doing limbs. It's 2-0 to Millwall. What is happening here? This is not good. We're never doing this again. We're getting absolutely battered. I might have to join. Oh, my God. Not again. Right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm jumping in. I've had enough. Oh, hang on. Yeah, why not? We're jumping now. I've had enough. We're jumping into the game. Back post, perhaps. David! Yes! I've jumped in and I've saved the day. Why am I celebrating? Grab the bloody ball. Where's the limbs? Where's the crowd celebration? We've got the comeback. Where's the fans behind us? David picks up the goal. Can we bring the comeback on now? Come on, boys. Well done, indeed. Miller. On the ball. Van Dijk plays it to Suleimani. David's making a run over the top. We can see him. The danger man. He's going to get there. David on the volley. And it's in. What a comeback. Where the hell is the chant? Where's the limbs? I can't hear any limbs. I think it's glitched. But the big Nigerian brings it back after the simulation shocker. It's 2 all on the little mini volley. I think it might have touched the ground to be fair. So it's probably an all shot. <clears throat> Pardon me. A brilliant finish into the bottom right corner. He's saving us again. I think the simulation has bugged up the audio because normally the, it goes a bit wild now, doesn't it, with the crowd, like every game, this career, but it's just quiet. I'm very confused. The two all here. We brought it back after EA tried to mug us off the simulation. Here we go, though, in May at this time. Ah, oh, unlucky. Unlucky indeed. Fleming on the ball. State of that name. Probably pronounced it wrong. I do apologise. Edwards, well done. We've got the ball back here. What a comeback this will be for Plymouth Argo. Inside the David. To Mayer. What a ball. Can Mayer think it over the keeper? He can. Long makes the save. Unlucky indeed. Rosama plays over the top to number seven. But Van Dijk is there. Cheeky composure from the centre. But playing off a bit of fancy pass. Gillespie on the ball. To Edwards. Inside. Wicker on the over the top. Hardy's on the outside, but David's there! Went for the Sue Ronaldo over the top, but it didn't pay off. Evans comes on for Miller. Do I take the risk and go for the simulation again and stick to my word? I am going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in a moment. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're back on the simulation. I'm trusting my word here. We said we were going to play a simulation game. We jumped in, helped out the team. Let's see how they get on the simulation. We've got the fans behind us now. See what happens. Here we go. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I thought we might have got the goal there. Come on, boys. I can't save you every time. I need you to win the games without me playing sometimes. Especially in the cup games when the highlights play. <clears> Hold <throat> on, me. Tickly throw again. Shocker. 85th minute here. Can we get a winner? Doesn't seem like we can. Could be just a 2 all result here. Unless we get late limbs. Let's have a look. Can we snatch one right at the end here? It's gone in, but it is going to be, I think, a 2 all result. It does end 2 all. We have to jump in and save them. But it ends 2 all. Volt Samuel on the double and David on the double. It is what it is. We continue on. Unlucky. So then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably going to wrap up the episode here today. I have to save Argo's ass there from the simulation against Millwall and bring it back for a 2 all draw. But it doesn't matter. We're still in a comfortable position. We have dropped down to ninth, though, which is a bit annoying. But hey, we're not that far off from sixth. I mean, we I mean we are and we're not. We're about uh, let's do the math if I can do it quickly. Uh, we're about we're about nine points off. I probably completely wrong. I've had a shocker. Still a long way to go, but there is time for the playoffs if we do get it. But I think in the next episode, we have got QPR at home. So hopefully we can get back to winning ways. We can't be keep bottling these games. Maybe just bottle, Maybe I should just sack off the simulation. Who knows? We'll find out in the next one. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you then. Bye.